In this lecture, you'll learn about lawn space reclamation, which is a way that we can make sure that the amount of space used in our lawns is reported correctly on the ONTAP system. With our SAN protocols, the hosts manage the file system on their LUNs. This is different than the NAS protocols of NFS and SIFS, where it's the storage system that is managing the file system. So with NAS, we've got file level access, but with SAN, the clients have got block level access. They connect to their LUN, they format it with a file system, and it's the hosts themselves that are directly managing the file system. And as a result, the host and the storage may report the used space differently because the storage system does not have the same kind of visibility into the file system. So let's see how it works. In this example here, this big box here is a LUN. And for the example, the client writes two files to the LUN. You can see them here, file one and file two. Both consume 25% of the LUN space. The client will report 50% space used in the LUN, and the storage will also report 50% space used because the client has actually written blocks to the LUN which take up 50% of the size. Then in our example, the client writes a third file to the LUN. This also consumes 25% of the LUN space. Now the client reports 75% used and the storage system also reports 75% space used. So you may be thinking, okay, Neil, I can't see any problem there. But now we start to get into the problem. Next, the client deletes files one and two. And when the client does that, it doesn't actually send any notification to the storage system by default. It just knows itself that those blocks are no longer in use and it's able to write new data to those blocks. But it doesn't actually do anything to physically delete the blocks on the storage system. So because of that, the client reports 25% space used because it knows that that 50% is available again, but the storage system still reports 75% space used because 75% has been written to the LUN and the storage system does not know about anything different happening. It doesn't know that 50% of that is now free and available again. Then in our example, the client writes a fourth file to the LUN. This is also consuming 25% of the LUN space. Now the client correctly reports 50% space used because the client, of course, has got full visibility. The storage system now reports 100% space used because it doesn't know about the free space. Then the client deletes file four. The client reports 25% space used. Again, the storage system doesn't know about this happening, so the storage still reports 100% space used. So you can see from the example that once the client has written data that is equivalent to 100% of the LUN, then the storage system always sees the LUN as being 100% full. No matter what happens after that, no matter what deletes or overwrites there are from the client, once it's reached that 100%, the storage system always thinks it's 100% full and nothing changes that. In our example, the client then writes file five. The client always reports correctly, so the client sees 50% space used. And again, the storage system is always going to see 100% used from this point on. So if we looked at an actual St storage utilization tool on the client. Like the example here is the disk defragmentation tool on a Windows client. You can see that it can see the files that are taking up contiguous space there, the fragmented files, unmovable files, and the free space. The storage system does not have this kind of visibility into the file system though. So the used capacity never decreases from the storage system perspective. It's always going to only increase up to 100% and then it's going to stay there. And most hosts will end up appearing to use all of the space of the LUN from the storage system's perspective. The used space is reported incorrectly on the storage system. So at this point, 
the host will still be able to write to the LUN because when it writes to the LUN, the storage system will just see that as being an overwrite. The storage, even though the storage system sees the LUN as being 100% full, it, of course, it's going to still allow overwrites so the client can still write to that LUN. But you will not be able to realize any space efficiency savings from thin provisioning because the storage system always sees the LUN as being 100% full it doesn't see any free space there. So it's gonna work exactly the same as if you thick provisioned it. Thin provisioning is not gonna work. So how do we fix this problem? Well, we can use space reclamation. Space reclamation reclaims space automatically when your host deletes data. The way it works is that the host will signal to the storage system, telling the storage system that those blocks are freed up now, so the storage system will see that now as free space so it can reduce the size of the use space when you're using thin provisioning also there's also a signal from the storage system to the client going back in the other direction the storage system will notify the host when the LUN cannot accept writes due to the lack of space at the volume level. So if the volume gets full, the storage system will tell the client that it will tell it that it can't accept any new writes now. And that makes the LUN read only rather than the storage system taking it offline. So the client won't be able to make any writes, but at least the client can still see the LUN and can still see can still do reads from it and it's still online. Obviously that's a lot better than the one going completely offline and the client having no access to it at all. The way that you enable space reclamation is at the command line. You use the command LUN modify, specify your volume and your LUN, and then you say space and space allocation enabled. So this is configured at the LUN level. Now, before you do this, it's important that you verify that the client operating system does support SCSI thin provisioning. That needs to be supported on the client for this to work. It will cause problems if it doesn't. And because of that, because it can cause problems if the client does not support it, space allocation is disabled by default. And you must take the one offline to change the setting. So what this means is, is that if the client operating system does support this, then you should enable it before you connect the client to the LUN. Because if you forget to do that, you're going to have to take the LUN offline to change your setting later. Obviously, that's going to cause an outage and you don't want to have to do that. Thanks for watching. If you want to get hands-on practice with NetApp Storage for free on your laptop, then you can download my free ebook which you can see above my head right now. Also check out my NetApp Storage Complete course, which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. Thanks.